recording. Oke, okay, selamat pagi keluarga SCI. Kembali lagi di morning call setelah kita istirahat di weekend. Uh, minggu lalu kita kita ada perayaan yang luar biasa. Semoga semangatnya akan tetap dibawa sampai tahun depan. Nah, uh, kali ini Nathan akan bicara soal why. Kenapa penting uh, di morning, di mindset ini karena Why itu adalah yang bikin kita stay dalam melakukan apa yang kita lakukan. Lebih spesifiknya di sini kita akan bicara soal why kita di Yusana. Uh, 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 Nathan, you can go ahead. Okay, good. So, uh, welcome to Mindset Monday. I'm very excited to be sharing uh, a topic that is very near and dear to my heart this morning. Uh, selamat, selamat datang di Uh, morning mind di mindset hari Senin. Nathan tenang sekali bisa sharing tentang why karena ini topik yang uh, sangat dia uh, buat dia ini penting banget. So today we're going to be talking about your why, right? A lot of people have hear about this idea of your why and finding your why, but we're going to talk today about what that means and the reason why getting connected to your why is so important. Jadi kita sering banget dengar orang orang bilang soal why. Kenapa sih kita melakukan apa yang kita lakukan? Nah, kali ini kita akan bahas lagi kenapa uh, connect ke why kita itu penting banget buat kita untuk tetap stay dan melakukan apa yang kita lakukan. So you can see here it says that your why is actually your deep reason for being here in this business and we want to separate that from any idea of motivation. Jadi kita akan bahas bagaimana why itu adalah alasan yang dalam sekali yang bikin kita stay dalam melakukan satu dan kita akan lihat bedanya why dengan motivasi. When we say deep we mean it's 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 deep within you. Right? Motivation is something that you can use every day, whether it's a YouTube video or it's something, you know, music that you listen to. It's something that can keep the fire going. But what we want to talk today is something deeper than motivation. Motivation is something that comes from external. Today we want to talk about inspiration, which is the fire that burns within you. Jadi, kalau motivasi itu bisa sesuatu kayak lagu atau video YouTube, itu lebih eksternal. Tapi kalau kita bicara soal why, itu adalah sesuatu yang di dalam diri kita yang yang terus nyala. Jadi kayak kayak uh, apa ya? Kayak mesinnya kita gitu. Kayak sesuatu yang terus nyala di dalam diri kita, bukan sesuatu yang dari luar. Because motivation can come and go, right? It's it's something that you can feel very you can feel very motivated one moment and not motivated the next moment or the next day it comes and goes but inspiration is like a fire that's lit within you and when you have that fire within you it doesn't matter what other people think or what's going on in your life that fire burns within you jadi kalau motivasi itu bisa datang dan pergi tergantung situasi tapi kalau why itu ada dalam diri kita dan terus nyala So everything great starts with why. There's an amazing book by a gentleman named Simon Sinek who wrote a book called Start With Why. And I really encourage you guys to go and check that book out. It's in Bahasa at Gramedia. Uh, it's called Start With Why. And we're going to go over some of the things that he talks about in that book. Jadi semua yang hebat itu berasal dari why yang kuat. Nah, Nathan uh, meng-encourage teman-teman untuk cari bukunya Simon Sinek, judulnya Start With Why. Di Gramedia udah ada bahasa Indonesianya, jadi mungkin untuk bacaan menjelang tahun baru bisa bisa dibeli dan dibaca. So, I just want to take, I mean, we have a great example of what a why is at the heart and center of USANA, right? So if you look at Dr. Myron Wentz's vision, he says, I dream of a world free of pain and suffering. I dream of a world free from disease. The USANA family will be the healthiest family on earth. Share my vision 
love life and live it to its fullest in happiness and health. Nathan, do you have the text for that? <laughs> Jadi sebenarnya on the user screen. Nasi, on the screen ya. Yeah. Sebenarnya di Yusana sendiri ada ada contoh wa yang bagus banget. Jadi teman-teman kalau masih ingat wa Dokter Maren Wens Vision dibilang saya memimpikan dunia yang bebas dari rasa sakit dan penderitaan dan uh, dia juga memimpikan untuk menjadikan kita semua keluarga tersehat di dunia. So I want to talk about what makes this very unique, right? Because a lot of companies focus on what they do or what their products are or what their services are. But in the book, Start With Why, Simon Sinek differentiates the why, the how, and the what. Jadi, yang menarik adalah, kalau banyak perusahaan itu fokus di produk mereka apa, kelebihannya apa. Tapi Simon Sinek sendiri, itu mulai dari uh, apa apa uh, apa perbedaannya So if you look at the what right this is where a lot of people start when they're you know you just think about when you do your your Usana presentations a lot of times we we start from what which is basically what we do right the products and the, and, and the products that we that we sell at Usana Nah, kalau banyak orang itu bicara soal apa, tapi sebenarnya core dari sesuatu itu adalah kenapanya, purpose-nya. So everybody on this call knows what we do in USANA, right? We are a cellular nutrient, we're a scientific cellular nutrition company, and we manufacture some of the highest quality nutritional supplements, weight management products, and personal care products in the world. Jadi kalau kalau kita bicara soal Yusana, kita tahu apa sih Yusana itu? Yusana adalah perusahaan nutrisi sel di mana kita memproduksi suplemen untuk sel kita, ada weight management, ada skincare. And the how are, are are the things that set what you what you do apart from what other people do, right? So if you look at Yusana, where we have one of the only FDA registered nutritional manufacturing facilities in the world. We have pharmaceutical grade products. We have a million dollar athlete guarantee. We partner with the Dr. Oz show. Those, those, are, those are the hows in terms of what makes what we do unique. Nah, bicara soal how, ini adalah bagaimana Yusana memproduksi produknya. Jadi, kita satu-satunya yang manufacturing FDA approved. Kita satu-satunya yang punya Yusana atlet dengan jaminan 1 juta dolar. Jadi, ini adalah kalau what tadi kita memproduksi apa, kalau how itu bagaimana Yusana diproduksi. But very, very few companies in the world, and this was research that, that Simon Sinek did, and he actually focused a lot on Apple, right, the company Apple that make MacBooks and, and iPhones and everything, and what he wanted to figure out was what made Apple dominate the industry when there are so many com companies that made similar products. Nah, kemudian cuma ada sedikit sekali perusahaan dari penelitiannya Simon Sinek yang uh, punya why. Jadi di sini uh, Simon itu fokus di bukunya itu ngasih contoh Apple sebagai salah satu perusahaan yang mem, yang bisa bertahan dari yang lain karena punya uh, big why. And, and what he said was that most of the companies out there, they don't know why they do what they do, right? One of their, their main focus is on making money. And he says that a why is not about making money. That is a result, right? Why is a purpose. It's a cause or it's a belief. And it's the very foundation for why your organization exists. Jadi, kalau banyak perusahaan fokus di apa, uh, Apple ini salah satu yang why. Jadi, Wah itu adalah kenapa kenapa perusahaan ini hadir kenapa apa yang bikin perusahaan ini beda dengan yang lain. Jadi kalau what itu ngomongin produk, kalau why itu ngomongin purpose. Kenapa perusahaan ini diciptakan? So what I want to encourage you guys is to as we go through this talk, we're gonna we're gonna talk about how you can dig down and find your why. Jadi yang Nathan tawarkan adalah dalam training ini. Uh, semua kita semua ini nemuin apa sih why terdalam kita kita gali. 
but I want to use a concrete example, right? So let's just look at a health and freedom presentation. If we as associates are starting with what and then going to how, and then, and then eventually maybe not even getting to why, but if we start with the products and the services, and then we go into how in terms of what makes us different, usually we forget about the why completely. Jadi, uh, Nathan akan ngasih contoh. Misalnya di uh, presentasi health and freedom kita, biasanya kita mulai dengan apa, terus kita kita kemudian mengarah ke bagaimana. Jadi apa apa Yusana, bagaimana Yusana dibuat. Tapi seringkali kita lupa kenapa Yusana ada. When what Simon Sinek found when his research was actually people don't care about what you do or how you do it. Ultimately, they care about why you do it. People don't follow what, they follow why. Padahal dalam, dalam penelitiannya Simon Sinek, orang itu kadang-kadang nggak perlu, nggak peduli tentang apa dan kenapa. Orang lebih connect, lebih peduli sama kenapa kita melakukan itu. So basically, your, your, brain, your brain is has different sections, right? And if you look at the what, That has to do with the logical part of your brain, right? And then the how and the why have to do more with the emotional side of the brain. And what we know is that people don't buy for logical reasons. They buy for emotional reasons, and then they justify their, their purchases and their decisions with the logic. And jadi, padahal dari penelitian juga ditemukan bahwa ketika orang membeli, Orang tuh sebenarnya membeli bukan dengan pertimbangan logik. Jadi kalau what itu hubungannya dengan pertimbangan logis. Sementara how dan why itu dengan pertimbangan emosional. Nah, sebenarnya secara tidak sadar manusia itu ketika melakukan keputusan lebih didasari oleh keputusan-keputusan emosional yang kemudian dijustifikasi dengan sesuatu yang logis. So the, the, the what is in your head, right? This is the very, this is the head driven part. And then the why is the heart. It's the, it's the purpose, it's the mission, it's the vision for why you do what you do. And that is what inspires people. Jadi kalau what itu ada di kepala, semuanya yang logis-logis, reasonable. Kalau why itu di hati. Nah, orang-orang kadang-kadang nggak sadar, banyak keputusan dibuat dari hati. So even when you're thinking about your USANA business and how to be successful in USANA, it's too many people start with the game plan session instead of getting really clear about why they want what they, what they want, right? So we're starting in the wrong direction. Instead of starting with the plan and then moving towards the purpose, we have to start with the purpose and why we're doing what we're doing and then work towards the plan. Nah, jadi Nathan mengingatkan kembali, kebanyakan dari kita itu mulai ketika kita join Yusana langsung bikin uh, game plan. Padahal kalau why-nya belum ditemukan, itu bisa nggak kuat. Jadi, tawaran dari Nathan adalah kita mulai dari why dulu, baru kemudian di, diturunkan ke game plan. So, you can see here it says you have to mine for the gold, right? This is where the gold is. The gold is in the why. The gold is in your heart. And a lot of times, because we're so locked in our head all of the time, we don't really have access to our why. And that's why you have to go through this process of really going deeper and, and, and figuring out your why, because that's where, all, that's where all the gold is. But it takes work to get there. Jadi kalau dilihat di gambar ini ada tulisan you have to mine the gold. Jadi sebelum kita dapetin emasnya nih, kita juga harus menggali why-nya karena why itu yang akan bikin kita terus bekerja untuk goal kita. So let's just look one more time, right? So if you look at Dr. Wentz's why or the vision for USANA, You can notice it doesn't say anything about nutritional supplements or an FDA registered facility or athletes or any of that. Dr. Wentz is not focused on that. Dr. Wentz is focused on impact. He's focusing on changing the world. He's focusing on the, the touching people's lives. 
Jadi kalau kita lihat lagi nih ya visinya Dokter Maron Wens, kita nggak di sini kita nggak akan nemukan sama sekali uh, soal nutrisi, soal FDA approve, tapi dia fokus sama mimpinya dia, mimpinya dia merubah dunia, mimpinya dia membebaskan dunia dari rasa sakit dan penderitaan. Jadi ini lebih, lebih deep sebenarnya. So let's do a little bit of reality check, right? Because everybody on this call already knows this if you've been in the business long enough. And that is that being an entrepreneur is hard. Jadi Nathan mau, mau ngecek nih. Reality check. Karena untuk orang-orang yang sudah di bisnis ini lama pasti, pasti ngalamin apa yang uh, akan Nathan bahas. Realitinya adalah menjadi, peng, menjadi entrepreneur itu berat. And a lot of you have already been on, they call it the, the entrepreneurial roller coaster, right? Sometimes you feel on top of the world, you get a new distributor, you get a new customer, you get really, you get, you get just really energized. And then the next day you can have a big dip, right? We have all of these things. Maybe somebody rejects you or, you know, somebody in your family tells you you're stupid for doing this business or, you know, you feel like it's not working or you're not good enough, whatever, right? You, you have all of these ups and downs. Jadi, Anatan ingetin lagi ada ada kurva entrepreneur yang hari ini mungkin ngerasa up sekali karena ada distributor baru yang join. Tiba-tiba besoknya zup jungsep karena ditolak karena mungkin ada yang mau bikin event gagal segala macam. Nah ini nih biasa banget dialamin sama uh, sama kita. So the the key is that your why has to be big enough to keep you consistently showing up for your business. Day after day, week after week, month after month. Nah, apa yang bisa bikin kita bertahan adalah why kita harus besar supaya kita tetap bisa konsisten showing up di bisnis setiap hari, setiap minggu, setiap bulan. <coughs> because, and the reason for that is because a strong enough why can overcome any challenge. Kenapa? Karena why yang besar bisa mengatasi semua tantangan. Because if you can keep the vision in front of you, if you can keep your, your, what you really, really desire in your life in front of you, then when challenges or problems arise and you're focused on where you're, on where you're going, not on the challenge in front of you, then these obstacles, these things that, that, that could come up and stop you on an ordinary day, if you're focused on your vision, then these obstacles just show up as challenges that you can use to get stronger. Jadi kalau visi kita tuh besar, kalau why kita besar, tantangan-tantangan yang nantinya datang, kita hanya akan melihat itu sebagai uh, batu loncatan supaya kita jadi lebih kuat. So let's just look at a couple of things, right? If you lose your way, or sorry, if Yeah, you lose your your way when you lose your why. Mari nanti ngasih satu contoh nih. Sini contohnya adalah kamu bisa kehilangan arah kalau kamu kehilangan why kamu. And your why is what can keep you going on days when you don't feel like it. Dan dan why why kamu itu yang bisa bikin kamu bertahan walaupun kamu nggak pengen. I don't know if any of you are athletes or runners or whatever the case may be, but if you, when, when you wake up every morning, when your alarm goes off every single morning, or maybe it's for these morning calls, right? When your alarm goes off every single morning, I can almost guarantee that everybody on this call has to deal with the thought of, oh my God, here we go again. Do I really want to get up? I'm feeling so, you know, some co so comfortable in the bed or whatever the case may be, right? And if you listen to your head, in that moment, then you'll go back to sleep on your dreams and your goals, right? But if you can, but if you can keep that driving um, motivation, then you'll then you'll get up and you'll and you'll you'll go for the run, you'll go for the workout, you'll get on the you'll get on the morning call because you're focused on why instead of what there is to do. Jadi nanti ngasih contoh nih. Tadi dia mau ngasih contoh atlet, tapi akhirnya contohnya berubah ke kayak morning call. Jadi setiap pagi kan mungkin ada teman-teman yang, yang nyalain alarm ya. Kalo, pasti perasaannya ya ampun, udah jam 7 lagi. 
aduh kayaknya masih pengen tidur, ngapa ini morning call. Nah, kalau saat itu kita ngedengerin kepala kita, pasti kita akan tidur lagi. Tapi kalau kita ngedengerin hati kita, dengerin fokus di kenapa saya harus bangun dan dengerin morning call, pasti nggak nggak pakai pikir panjang, otomatis bangun. And I remember uh, at one of the first conventions, one of the first international conventions that I went to, one of my, my personal heroes is a, is a three-star diamond or three or four-star diamond director named Jordan Kemper. And he always said that whenever, whenever you feel like quitting or whenever you have an associate that feels like quitting, go back and get really connected to why you started in the first place or go back and get that person connected to why they started in the first place because if they're feeling lost right if you just look at the first image if they're feeling lost they feel like they've lost their way nine times out of ten it's simply because they've lost sight of their vision they've, they're not connected to their why jadi uh, Nathan ngasih satu contoh lagi nih Ketika kamu ingin berhenti, pikirkan kenapa kamu mulai. Jadi uh, ini Nathan dapat di salah satu convention di mana salah satu idolanya dia uh, waktu itu Tristar Diamond Director namanya Jordan Kemper. Jadi dia tuh bilang bahwa ketika kita mau, ketika kita udah hampir kehilangan kehilangan arah, itu balik kalau kita balik lagi ke why kita kita bisa jadi kuat dan uh, stay. So let's look at what happens if you're not clear about what your what your why is. Jadi kita akan ngelihat apa yang akan terjadi kita ketika kita nggak tahu apa why kita. So the first thing is you're going to get distracted, right? There, we all have to deal with this. There are so many things that are pulling our attention and trying to get our time and our attention every single day. That if you're not super connected to why you really want to do this business then you're just not going to do it. Jadi salah satunya adalah yang terjadi nih kalau kita nggak clear sama why kita kita akan te- banyak terganggu, terdistraksi. Akan ada banyak hal-hal lain dalam hidup yang kemudian menyita perhatian kita kalau kita nggak benar-benar connect sama why kita. Jadi akhirnya dari tadinya harus ngerjain A tapi karena why kitanya nggak kuat akhirnya kita jadi ngerjain B, C, D gitu. And always remember this, right? If you're not clear about your why, then you will get confused. And anytime you have a lack of clarity, it creates confusion. And confused people do nothing. Nah, satu hal lagi adalah it, kamu akan bingung. Jadi, uh, kalau kita nggak kalau kita nggak jelas, kalau kita nggak jelas kenapa kita melakukan ini, kita akan bingung. Dan orang yang bingung biasanya tidak melakukan apa-apa. Some of you, maybe maybe you've heard the song I can I can I can see clearly now that the that the rain is gone, right? <laughs> when you when you get really clear about your why, it's incredible how much that sort of mental fog or that rain just goes away and you can see clearly where you're going. Nah, nanti ngasih contoh nih, mungkin teman-teman tahu lagu yang I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Nah, jadi saat saat hujannya hujannya berhenti, terus kabutnya pergi, kan kita bisa akhirnya bisa ngelihat dengan jelas kemana kita mau pergi, ar- harus lewat mana. It, itu itu bisa dibilang uh, soal kalau kita clear sama why kita se- semua jalannya pasti akan kelihatan. So the reality is that you have to make your business a, business a priority because if it's if your business is not a priority for you, then you're gonna get stuck in what we call a vicious circle. Jadi yang pertama adalah kita harus menjadikan bisnis ini prioritas karena kalau itu bukan prioritas, kita akan stuck di dalam lingkaran yang nggak berhenti berhenti. So just you just check in with yourself, right? See if see if this has happened to you. So. You're not really working on your business because it's not tied to something that you really want or you've lost your connection to what it is that you really desire. Nah, jadi Nathan ngajak cek masing-masing. Apakah kamu tidak melakukan bisnis ini karena kamu nggak jelas 
nggak clear nih, nggak jelas. Kenapa sih kamu melakukan ini? So that's usually step one. Step two is you you beat yourself up and you make yourself wrong for not working on your business or you blame somebody else, you blame your upline, you blame your team, whatever. But you either beat yourself up or you beat other people up and make them wrong for your business not working. Nah, ini yang kedua nih. Uh, kita nyalahin diri kita karena kurang kerja atau di titik ekstrim yang lain nyalain orang lain karena kurang dukung. Jadi either nyalain diri sendiri atau nyalain nyalain orang lain. And then ultimately what happens is that you stop working on your business because now you're in drama, right? It's all about guilt and it's all about you're not good enough, you're a failure and that comes from the fact that you're beating yourself up for not working on your business. Nah, ini kemudian akan uh, dari dating akan berhenti. Jadi enggak ngerjain bisnisnya karena sekarang fokusnya cuman di drama dan ngerasa gagal dan pengen berhenti dan nyalain diri sendiri. And if you can see, right, it's sort of like step one, two, three in that process. And it, then, it becomes a, then it becomes a vicious circle. But a lot of times we don't recognize that if you're, in, if you're in drama or you're feeling guilty or you're doing your business for any of those reasons or if you're stopped, a lot of times we don't realize it, it's because we're not connected to what we really want. Nah, jadi teman-teman bisa lihat nih, step-nya ada tiga nih. Pertama, nggak benar-benar kerja karena nggak connect. Terus karena nggak kerja, nyalain diri sendiri. Terus karena nyalain diri sendiri, akhirnya pengen berhenti. Dan ini, drama ini akan muter-muter terus nih. Tapi lupa, sebabnya apa? Sebabnya karena itu bukan prioritas. Sebabnya karena why-nya nggak kuat. Jadi, uh, buat teman-teman yang yang mudah-mudahan nggak ada yang ngerasa gini, buat teman-teman yang lagi ngerasa down dan pengen berhenti, coba dilihat penyebabnya apa. So the good news is if this is you, right? If you're on this call and you've you've been experiencing these things in your in your own life, the good news is that now you know that if your business is not working or if you're feeling down or whatever the case may be, it's not because you're not good enough or because your team is lazy. It's not for any of those reasons, right? You can now take you can now be aware and then get empowered by the idea that all you have to do is get reconnected to your why and you can restart again today and let go of the past. Nah, jadi kabar baiknya adalah buat semua teman-teman yang ada di call ini, itu adalah sa- sa- udah satu langkah maju karena apa? Teman-teman akan sadar apa sih yang bikin ini enggak jalan dan teman-teman tahu apa yang harus dilakukan. Connect lagi ke why-nya atau kalau yang enggak pernah mikirin why-nya, start dengan why kamu apa. So when it comes to visualizing what it is that you want, right? Just remember that if you if you can't see it, if you can't smell it, if you can't taste it, then it's not real for you, right? And if it doesn't move you deeply in your soul, then it's not going to be enough to really keep you committed on those difficult days. Nah, kuncinya ini nih. Ini penting banget saat kita bikin why kita. Kalau kamu nggak bisa lihat itu, nggak bisa cium itu, nggak bisa ngerasain kalau itu real itu nggak akan bisa bikin kamu tersentuh dan kalau itu terjadi itu nggak akan bikin kamu cukup komit untuk melakukannya. That's why it's so important for you to really slow down and do this work where you really you close you close your eyes and you get really clear for yourself about what do you want your life to look like, right? What do you want your family life to look like? Where do you want to travel in the world? What do you want your car, your house? What kind of impact do you want to make on the world? What, what kind of culture do you want in your team? All of these answers that are, are answers that you have deep within you. You just have to slow down and, and, and get rid of the noise in your life and get connected to what that is through this visualization process. Jadi tawaran Nathan untuk kita semua adalah kita kita slow down, kita berhenti dulu, kita bayangin sebenarnya apa sih yang diinginkan, bayangin kehidupan seperti apa yang mau dikasih ke keluarga. Kalau teman-teman yang suka travel, bayangin pengen travel kemana, pengen punya rumah kayak gimana, pengen beli mobil apa. Jadi 
berhenti dulu terus bayangin apa sih yang apa sih yang uh, apa sih yang teman-teman mau So I'm not going to go um, more, in more depth with, with this particular thing, even though I think it's probably the most important part, because tomorrow, uh, actually, Deep and Simmer are going to be going through how to create your vision, how to, how to, how to, take, how to, get, how to create your vision about exactly what you want in your, in your life, clearly and specifically, and then how to transfer that vision onto some sort of dream board or some visual display so that you can keep that vision in front of you every single day. Nah, jadi Nathan nggak akan uh, ngomong lebih jauh tentang hal ini, walaupun ini sebenarnya penting banget, karena, kabar baik lagi, besok Deep dan Simar akan bicara soal gimana bikin vision board. Jadi, tawarannya adalah malam ini teman-teman, uh, tadi tuh bayangin kehidupan seperti apa sih yang mau, kalian, mau teman-teman punya, dan besok datang lagi di Zoom call, karena Deep dan Simar akan ngomongin soal gimana bikin semua yang dibayangin itu dan taruh dalam vision board. So the next step is once you get clear about what these things are, then you have to share it with your business partners, with the rest of your, your support team, your partner, your best friends, your family members. You have to declare your vision from the mountaintops, right? So people are clear about where you're going. Nah, jadi step pertama adalah declare. Karena kalau kita keep sendiri nanti, Nggak, nggak kelihatan. Jadi, saat udah tahu why-nya, declare ke uh, bisnis partner atau dalam hal ini mungkin uh, upline-nya, mentornya. Declare juga ke timnya. Jadi, uh, supaya timnya terinspirasi. Jadi, uh, kenapa ini penting juga? Karena suatu saat ketika kita mungkin down, orang-orang yang tahu why kita ini bisa ngingetin kita lagi. Bisa kasih support. So it's so important that the people that are close to you in your life are really clear about what your vision is because then they can be your support structure. They can and, and they can keep you accountable when it gets really hard for you to keep your own eyes on your on the prize. Nah, kenapa penting buat orang-orang di dekat kita untuk tahu why kita supaya saat kita jatuh, saat kita down, saat kita lagi lemah, saat kita lupa Mereka bisa jadi uh, partner accountability, bisa ngingetin, bisa support, bisa ngangkat tangan kita untuk bangun lagi. And I want to be really clear about this because if you're somebody in 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 your life right now where there's somebody in your family or in your friend circle or uh, in your community that isn't really supportive of what you're doing at the moment, my guess is it's because you're not clear about what your vision is for your for your life and because you're not clear they're not clear. Nah, jadi uh, Nathan ini ngasih contoh. Kalau misalkan ada orang-orang di di sekeliling kita atau orang terdekat kita yang enggak support kita uh, dugaan Nathan adalah karena kamu enggak clear sama why kamu sehingga mereka juga enggak clear kenapa kamu melakukan apa yang kamu lakukan. Because the reality is the people that love you, they want you to be successful. They want you to be empowered. They want you to do what it is that fires you up. And if they're not supportive of you at the moment, it's probably because they don't see the passion and they're not connected to what your, your, your vision is. Nah, jadi kalau, kalau memang saat ini nggak ngerasa nggak disupport sama keluarganya, uh, <coughs> seperti yang tadi saya bilang, kemungkinannya adalah Mereka nggak nggak jelas why kamu apa karena e, karena tidak mungkin orang yang oh, tidak mungkin orang dekat kita tuh tidak support kita tidak ingin kita berhasil. Oke, okay, and then the last thing before we actually get into how it is that you create your why is that your why really has to be about you, especially in the beginning, right? Your why cannot be about money, um, but it can be about what money can do for you. Right, but it has to be very deeply personal to you. Jadi sebelum sebelum kita lanjut ke bagian bagaimana membuat why, Nathan ngasih uh, satu poin penting bahwa why-nya tuh harus tentang kamu. Jadi uh, why-nya tuh harus tentang kamu. Gak bisa tentang uang, tapi bisa 
tentang bagaimana uang itu akan memudahkan hidup kamu. Harus personal. And you don't want your why to be about other people or what other or what you think other people think that a good why should be. I see too many people getting caught up in what they think their why should be instead of them getting really connected about about who they about what what their vision really is. Jadi satu hal lagi nih, kadang-kadang uh, banyak orang confuse why-nya itu dengan tentang orang lain. Jadi jadi uh, apa yang ingin mereka lakukan buat orang lain? Misalkan buat keluarga, buat anak, buat fam- buat family. Jadi ini juga saya udah pernah ngerasa ini ketika why saya tentang ketika why saya adalah tentang anak-anak saya. Ketika sesuatu terjadi antara anak-anak saya, saya kayak kehilangan why saya. So let me say a little bit more about that, right? So we all have different personalities, right? Some of us are people, people, people persons. Some of us are more driver personalities. So we're, we're motivated by recognition or money. Some of us are really motivated by contribution and, and, and helping other people. And too often, people think that their why needs to be like for a good moral cause or it needs to be like a noble purpose. Nah, Nathan, ingetin lagi nih. Uh, kita sebenarnya setiap orang itu punya tipe personality yang berbeda-beda. Ada yang people's person, pengennya surfing, ada yang pengennya rekognisi, segala macam. Nah, ini ini ada bahayanya karena ketika semuanya itu eksternal, itu bisa dengan gampang hilang. So the re- the reality is it doesn't matter what your why is. What matters is that you know what your specific why is because that's what fires you up, right? If you're motivated by, you know, by having a, a fast car and a great lifestyle, then don't make your why be about changing the world because it's never going to be the thing that really motivates you and you're going to end up not being successful because you're living somebody else's purpose. Jadi intinya adalah kita harus tahu, harus kenali diri kita karena misalkan uh, kita kita bukan orang-orang yang people's person tapi kemudian why-nya kayak surfing the world. Akhirnya kita nggak connect dan itu gampang banget nantinya hilang. Jadi intinya adalah get deeper ke diri kita sendiri sebenarnya kita maunya apa. So, in, and remember, your why can always change over time, right? But in order for you to get outside of your comfort zone, especially in the beginning when it's really scary and it's, and it's an uncomfortable time when you first start, your why has to be really about, about you. Jadi, why, why ini uh, seiring waktu memang bisa berubah. Tapi kuncinya adalah why itu harus tentang diri kita sendiri. You can expand your vision later. Jadi visinya nanti bisa di, dibesarin. Okay, so now, now let's figure out how to actually, how, let's teach you how to figure out what your why is. Nah ini kita langsung ke intinya nih. Gimana cara mencari why? Okay, so there's, there's, there's basically two elements to every motivation, right? There's the thing that pushes you, And then there's the thing that pulls you. Nah, jadi kalau kita bicara soal why, ada dua hal yang penting nih. Sometimes. Apa, okay, good, sorry. Go <laughs> ada dua hal yang penting nih. Satu, apa yang apa yang dorong kita sama apa yang narik kita. Jadi kita lari dari apa atau kita mau lari kemana? So sometimes, sometimes people call it the pleasure and pain, right? There's the pain. There's the thing that you don't want in your life anymore, right? That's what you're running away from. Nah, jadi yang kita mau lari dari ini sebenarnya uh, rasa sakitnya nih. Apa yang kita nggak mau? Apa yang kita mau kabur dari situ? So maybe you're sick of not having enough money in your life, or you're sick of not having enough time to spend with your family, or you're sick of being told by your boss what to do, right? Those are really good motivations that can push you out of your 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 comfort zone. Nah, jadi ini contohnya tadi Nathan ngasih contoh, misalkan kita tuh mau lari dari nggak punya duit mulu, nggak punya waktu mulu, bos yang nyebelin, kerjaan yang too fast. Ini, ini yang kita mau lari dari. 
And then there's, and then there's what you're running towards, right? This is the, the ultimately the vision that you have for your, for your life. This is the thing that's pulling you into action every day. This is your, your, your driving purpose or your motivation. And it's, and it's what you really, really want. Nah, ini yang kedua adalah kita mau lari kemana? Kalau tadi kita lari dari mana, kalau dari kemana ini adalah yang kita pengen. Misalkan uh, bisa traveling, bisa punya kehidupan yang yang enak kayak gitu. Jadi jadi sebenarnya ini du, dua titik ekstrim ya. Mau lari dari apa? Mau lari ke mana? Sometimes they call it the carrot, right? What you're one, what you're running towards is the carrot. It's the thing that's have you ever seen like the the donkey that runs around trying to if trying to get the carrot if you hold the if you hold the carrot right in front of the donkey's face and you just keep moving it it's just going to keep moving towards the carrot because it really really wants that carrot. Ah. Nah, kan ngasih contoh kayak ada kalau saya sih uh, dulu di di Facebook itu ada ada video gimana seorang yang gemuk banget lari kenceng karena di depannya itu ada mobil di mana suaminya ngasih duit. <laughs> Jadi kalau Neta ngasih perumpamaan carrot yang binatang lari-lari karena pengen carrot, mungkin uh, ini ada contoh lain yang lebih real. Gimana, gimana ada yang lari karena diiming-imingin duit. And then, and then, and then they call the what you're running away from or the pain or what you don't want is like the stick, right? You can imagine, you can see this man, right? Just imagine when you were a kid, right, and you did the wrong thing or you said the wrong thing. I don't know about you, but my, my mom used to use a hairbrush, right? And so as soon as I saw the hairbrush come out, I knew it was time to run, man, because that meant I did something wrong and I was about to get a whooping. Nah, kalau, kalau tadi kita lari kemana karena ada iming-iming, ini di yang sebelah kiri nih, lari karena ada yang mau mukul. Jadi Nata ngasih contoh dulu, ibunya kalau dia nakal, itu pasti ngeluarin sisir dan mau mukul dia, nah. Dia tahu begitu ibunya warin sisir dia akan lari kenceng karena dia nggak mau dipukul. Jadi, jadi ada stick and carrot. Stick kita nggak mau kan, carrot kita mau. Jadi kita lari dari satu arah menuju arah yang lain. So it, it, different people again, different people have different personalities. Some people are more motivated by pain to get away from the situation that they're in, and some people are more motivated by pleasure and and, and moving towards what they really really want. It, again, it doesn't matter which one you are. What matters is which which one motivates you. And it, the smart thing to do is to have a little bit of both elements in your why. Nah. Nathan kembali ingatkan bahwa personality kita kan beda-beda nih. Ada yang lebih termotivasi karena pengen lari dari, ada yang lebih termotivasi karena pengen lari ke. Tapi sih kalau ada gabungan antara keduanya lebih bagus lagi karena karena dari depan dan belakang kita jadi ada ada apa ya? Ada pendorong. Oke, okay, so what we want is for everybody that's on the call to uh, take out a notebook and we want to answer the following questions. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and list out the, we'll list out the questions one by one so you can have a look at them. And then, um, you know, you can actually do this work after, after the call. And it would be great to have some people actually share their why in, in the group, take on some leadership and actually share their why in the group so that other people can get motivation from that. Nah, jadi... Sebentar lagi Nathan akan uh, ngasih beberapa pertanyaan yang bisa bantu kita untuk nulis why kita nih. Tawaran Nathan adalah teman-teman nanti ngerjain ngerjain ini dan share di grup. Kenapa? Biar yang lain juga tahu, termotivasi juga uh, mungkin nanti untuk mengingatkan. Jadi kayak ada akun accountability partner. So Mia, when we're finished, maybe we can we can just get these questions translated and then we can put them in the group as well for the for the Bahasa Indonesia speakers. Oke, okay. jadi nanti setelah call, call ini, saya akan translate pertanyaannya dan saya taruh di grup supaya teman-teman nanti bisa jawab dan uh, juga kirim ke uh, anggota timnya yang nggak ada di, di Zoom call ini biar mereka juga bisa bikin. So the first step is to get clear about what you want, right? These are the things that you really want in your life uh, when it comes to 
um, you know, the things that you want. So financial freedom, time freedom, traveling, uh, being able to, you know, contribute to or start a charity. Like you want to, you want to really list out what it is that you want. And then next to each, well, I'll just stop there. So list, make a list of what you want. Jadi yang pertama adalah apa why Anda? Jadi uh, nanti kita akan akan get deeper and deeper ya. Uh, bisa 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 pengen traveling, bisa pengen supaya keluarganya. Kalau saya sendiri, saya pengen empat anak saya lulus kuliah semua. Saya pengen ibu saya bisa naik haji dan punya rumah sebelum beliau tidak ada. Jadi intinya nanti kita masing-masing gali nih why kita. And then the next step is once you're clear about all the different areas of the things that you, excuse me, the things that you want in your life, you want to go a little bit deeper. They call it peeling the onion, right? So you want to ask yourself, why do I want that? Why is that so important for me? And you want to be very specific. Jadi yang kedua adalah setelah temu ini, why-nya apa? Tanyakan juga, kenapa sih ini penting? Kenapa ini penting? Gimana ini bisa mengubah hidup kamu? Gimana ini bisa bikin kamu bergerak dari titik satu ke titik yang lainnya? So you want, you want to get really clear, for example, if you had those things, like what would your life look like? How do you see the attainment of those goals changing your life? How do you see them affecting your family and helping you get what you, where you want to be in the long term? Nah, ini surat tadi udah saya tercobain ya. Jadi, gimana why itu sangat sangat penting? Gimana itu bisa mengubah hidup uh, hidup kamu sendiri, hidup keluarga kamu, dan gimana itu bisa ngebantu kamu terus jalan sampai uh, sampai ke arah yang diinginkan dalam jangka panjang. And then the other side of it is again, remember the the stick, right? So if you don't achieve your why, what is the pain? that you'll experience, right? So in other words, what is the cost that you're going to pay in your life if you don't take the actions right now to build the business? Nah, kalau itu nggak tercapai, uh, apa akibatnya? Jadi kayak dalam kata lain, ap, apa harga yang harus dibayar kalau kamu nggak nggak ngambil action atau nggak melakukan bisnis ini? And it's really important here, the, the most important part of this whole process is total honesty, right? So you want to get really clear and honest with yourself about what you and your family are going to miss out on in life, right? How will this affect the way that you feel about yourself, your confidence, your self-esteem, how, how will this affect the way that other people see you? Like what will be the real life impact of you not fulfilling on your vision. Nah, ini gap deeper lagi nih. Jadi, Nathan tadi ngajak teman-teman untuk jujur, kalau ini tidak tercapai, apa impact-nya dalam hidup? Apa yang, uh, kan tadi kita ngomong nih, kita pengen apa buat family kita. Nah, kalau kita kemudian nggak mencapai itu, apa impact-nya ke diri kamu, ke, ke keluarga, dan dan gimana ini akan mempengaruhi uh, percaya diri dan uh, self-esteem diri kita. And now you want to look ahead five years into the future, right? And if you don't achieve your why, where will you be? And what will you have to, what, what, what will you have to give up on? Because you didn't follow through on the actions uh, that were that you said were important to you. Nah, lebih jauh lagi, lebih jauh lagi lihat ke depan. Kalau why ini tidak tercapai, hidup hidupmu akan kayak gimana dan apa yang harus kamu uh, apa ya give up, lepaskan karena kamu nggak melakukan apa yang harus dilakukan untuk menjalankan why ini. And then once you're really clear about your why, uh, we'll talk about the next step that you can do. But you want to really, what, what I would recommend that you do is you, you put it into a, uh, a Word document and then either maybe convert it to a PowerPoint or, or just have it 
you know, you can go to the printer and have it laminated so that you can literally keep it next to your bed and read it first thing in the morning and right before you go to bed each night so that you can keep it in front of you and you keep putting in your subconscious mind the vision that you have for yourself and your life. Nah, setelah semuanya ditemukan, jadi Nathan tawarin untuk ditulis, entah di, ditulis terus di print atau tulis aja di, di board, terus uh, ditaruh, ditaruh tempat yang kita bisa lihat dan dibaca tiap hari. Itu kan, itu kan gak ada yang ngapain di buku-buku tuh nih, lo yang Okay, so the next thing is you want to really surround yourself with people who share and support your vision, right? So this says, find a group of people who challenge and inspire you and spend a lot of time with those people because it will change your life. Nah, ajakan lainnya adalah untuk hang out dengan atau uh, klinik diri anda dengan orang-orang yang akan support, akan dukung, akan challenge, akan menginspirasi karena kalau kita uh, kalau kita dikelilingi sama orang-orang kayak gitu ini akan ini akan punya impact banget ini akan sangat mempengaruhi hidup. So the reality is the world is for the most part right this is not this is not all the time but the world is full of negativity it's full of drama it's full of people trying to pull it, each other down, you know? And so it's hard enough, like we've already said, to overcome what's in your own mind every single day, right? So one of the most important things is, you know, you get on these group calls every morning. You, you come to the office, you spend time with inspired people. You come to the trainings, you come to the business summit, you come to the SDI team parties. Like you really immerse yourself in a culture of people who share your values and they're there to lift you up when you're having a difficult time. Jadi, sebenarnya kan kita sendiri aja udah punya banyak pikiran negatif nih di dalam. Nah, akan berat banget kalau di luar juga kita ketemu orang-orang kayak gitu. Jadi, tadi Nathan bilang, nggak semua sih, tapi kebanyakan orang itu punya pikiran negatif. Jadi, nature-nya orang tuh kalau ngeliat secara sadar, milih lingkungan atau teman-teman di mana kita, di mana kita ada supaya kita nggak makin ditarik ke bawah. Jadi, kita nggak makin ditarik jauh dari mimpi kita. Tapi, kita pengen ada di lingkungan di mana orang-orangnya justru narik kita untuk meraih mimpi kita. <laughs> so this is, you know, last Thursday when we talked about leadership, we talked about your vibe attracting your tribe. And I really believe that this is so important that you get clear about who you are and you get really clear about who you want, about what you want. And then you surround yourself with people who have that shared vision because when without a vision, the people perish. And the reason why we have this STI community, the reason why we do these calls, the reason why we get up every single day, and the reason why we've created the four values that we have in STI is because we're so clear that culture is everything. Nah, ini tadi adalah satu contoh ya. Jadi, kenapa penting bang? Aneta pernah bilang, your vibe, vibe kita itu yang attract tribe kita. Vibe kita attract apa orang-orang di dekat kita. Nah, ini penting banget karena uh, ini nanti yang akan keep kita uh, bareng-bareng. Kalau saya sih, kalau saya suka bilang kayak gini nih. Kalau kita ada di satu perahu dan di perahu itu orangnya ada yang mau ke utara, ke selatan kan perahunya nggak nyampe-nyampe. Jadi saya selalu make sure saya ada di perahu di mana orang-orangnya itu punya tujuan sama sama saya. Jadi nggak masalah kalau kalau gara-gara yuk sana kita dijauhin sama teman nggak apa-apa karena justru orang-orang kayak gitu yang akan bikin kita nggak nyampe-nyampe ini ketujuan kita ya gitu jadi uh, aware aja aware aja apakah kita dikelilingin sama orang-orang yang punya mimpi sama apa enggak kalau enggak 
jangan maksudnya jangan berat hati untuk keluar dari lingkungan itu karena kita justru ngasih room buat orang-orang yang punya mimpi yang sama untuk masuk ke dalam hidup kita dan support kita menuju mimpi kita itu. And this is also where I think um, self awareness is so important because if you're at a place right now in your life where you're feeling not motivated or a little bit uninspired or you've you've had that experience in the past, I can pretty much guarantee you if you look around, there's nobody around you, which means you've separated yourself from the pack and you're on your own and you're in your head and you're alone with your own thoughts. And that is the most dangerous place to be. So if you want to stay connected to why you're doing what you're doing and get really connected to your vision for your life, stay connected to the tribe. Stay connected with the pack. Don't wander off because, because for 25,000 years, since the beginning of time, animals or humans that wander from the pack, they end up getting killed. Nah, jadi sama seperti yang tadi bila, ke saya bilang, Nathan ngingetin kalau kalau kita sebaiknya itu kumpul sama orang-orang yang punya satu mimpi, satu visi dan jangan keluar sendirian. Karena dari sejarah dari sejarah sudah menunjukkan sejak 25.000 tahun yang lalu ketika ada satu binatang keluar dari tribe-nya biasanya either mati atau terbunuh. Jadi jadi make sure kita selalu ada di dalam tribe ini nih. Kita selalu ada di keluarga STI supaya kita enggak kalau kita jatuh ada yang ngangkat, kalau kita lagi lemes ada yang nguatin. Jangan sendirian karena kalau sendirian either kita berhenti atau ada orang yang bikin kita berhenti. So if you're if you're one of those individuals like like I am, right? If you're somebody that is very independent person, then just remember you have to be more mindful of this, right? There is safety in numbers and you're going to have to overcome your default that when you go down you try to get away you're going to have to overcome that and when you go down come together and 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 reach out and and share with other people because in that's where you'll get your you'll find your motivation again so you have to you just have to be aware of your tendency to remove yourself from the pack nah, jadi untuk orang-orang yang independen nih kayak Nathan Nathan kan sebenarnya sebenarnya nature independent Nathan ngingetin untuk jangan sendirian. Tetap tetap aja kelilingin diri diri kamu dengan orang-orang yang punya mimpi yang sama. Minimal sebagai reminder lah, minimal sebagai reminder kalau kita lagi lemes atau kita lagi lupa kalau atau kita lagi malas. And they say if you want to go if you want to go fast go alone, but if you want to go far go together. Ada juga nih uh, saying yang bilang kalau pengen pergi cepat kalau pengen jalan cepat, jalan sendiri. Tapi kalau pengen jalan jauh, jalan bareng-bareng. Nah, coba ditanya ke diri sendiri. Pengen jalan cepat atau jauh? Jauh itu artinya sampai 5-11 tahun, sampai jadi diamond, gitu. Gak cuma cepat doang, tapi jauh. Oke, okay, so the last is see if this will play. So, Mia, the, the, the volume on, this is, this is the video that we created for you. Like that. It's too too small the the sound. The sound is too small. Okay, so I'll put that in the group for for uh, I'll put that in the group for people to for people to look at. Um, But that's pretty much all I have today. I just want to just, you know, really thank people for, for coming on the call and really just know that the mentors that are in STI, we love you and we're here to help you fulfill on what's important to you. So if you're in a situation right now where you're a little bit disconnected or you don't know, you're not sure what your why is, reach out to either your, your sponsor or your mentor or one of the leaders that are in your, that are in your team and work with somebody else to get really clear about your why. Because a lot of times it's really hard for us to do it, to do it on our own. So it's good to connect with somebody else and have them ask questions and draw out of us so that we can go deeper. Nah, Nathan ngingetin lagi bahwa di STI ini kan kita nggak sendirian. Ada mentor-mentor, ada ada coach yang bisa bantu teman-teman. Nah, buat teman-teman yang masih bingung why-nya apa, bisa hubungi salah satu mentor, nanti dipandu bikin why-nya. 